Greetings to each and every one of you today from the Florence International Church in Florence, Italy. I'm Pastor Randy McGee, one of the senior pastors of this church, and it is my privilege today to greet you in His name and to share this devotional thought with you from the Word of God. From 1 Kings chapter 21, verses 1 through 4, we read the following passage of Scripture. Sometime later, there was an incident involving a vineyard belonging to Naboth, the Jezreelite. The vineyard was in Jezreel, close to the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. Ahab said to Naboth, Let me have your vineyard to use for a vegetable garden, since it is close to my palace. And in exchange, I will give you a better vineyard, or if you prefer, I will pay you whatever it is worth. But Naboth replied, The Lord forbid that I should give you the inheritance of my ancestors. So Ahab went home, sullen and angry, because Naboth the Jezelite, had said, I will not give you the inheritance of my ancestors. And he lay on his bed, sulking, and he refused to eat. The story is told about a man named Henry Ingram of Hardyville, South Carolina in the USA. He was a man who had vowed never to let his plantation, in essence his vineyard, fall into the hands of someone from the northern part of the country. He had filed deed restrictions, in fact, barring the sale of his land to anyone born north of what was called the Mason-Dixon line, or even to anyone who had the name of any northern famous individuals. Mr. Ingram is not, I repeat, is not a racial bigot. He has stipulated that any southern person of African descent can buy his property at a 10% discount. Now, U.S. laws say nothing about geographical discrimination, according to the real estate lawyers that have studied this case. And someone would have to show that someone of northern descent was a class of people entitled to some kind of protection. In other words, he said this, if you're a northerner, my property is not for sale. Now our passage today introduces us to another man who refused to sell the farm. A man named Naboth, whose name means fruit. Naboth owned a vineyard that was situated beside the summer palace of Ahab, the king of Israel. And verse 2 tells us that Ahab wanted Naboth's vineyard and offered to trade him a better vineyard or to pay him cash for his land. Now, for most of us, that would seem like a pretty reasonable offer to make. The king, apparently, was a gardener, and he wanted this patch of ground close to his palace to raise himself a vegetable garden. But Naboth refused the offer of the king. I want us to think for a few moments about that refusal. I want us to contemplate about the reasons why Naboth said no to Ahab. And I want you to reflect about what this passage has to say to us today in this moment. You see, there are some folks 
in our world today that would try to take away what we have been given as an inheritance by the Lord. When they come to us with their plans and with their ideas, we need to be able to say simply to them, it's not for sale. You see, what Jesus provided for us, what Jesus paid the price for at Calvary, that we might have eternal life with him one day in heaven, should never be for sale. Oh, I know there are many people today in this world that are always looking for what they think of as some kind of a profit, something to make their life here on this earth easier and more enjoyable. And if it means giving up what they have from the Lord, well, you know, eternity's a long time off, or so they think. But I want you to think today that eternity is not that far off. For most of us, we need to understand that the Word of God speaks of the fact that our life is nothing but a vapor. It passes so quickly and we step from this life into eternity. And what Jesus provided for us at Calvary is a wonderful, precious, and beautiful inheritance. And it should not be and never can be for sale. Because there's nothing on this world in this world that can compare in value to that which we will find one day in heaven with Jesus. So I encourage you today to take a stand for the Lord. Don't let the things of this world, don't let them pull at you. Don't let them talk you into something that seems easier for you in this moment. But instead, stand up for what God has done for you. Stand up and say, my eternal inheritance is not, nor will it ever be, for sale. I will stand for the Lord Jesus Christ. If you'll do that, I can assure you the day will come that you will have no regrets for having kept yourself and made that stand for the Lord Jesus Christ in your life. Thank you for joining us today for this short devotional thought. We trust it will encourage you and strengthen you in your walk with the Lord this week. Join us on Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. Central European Time for our message for the week for the Florence International Church. And I believe it will be something that will touch your heart. We are so thankful for you that join us. We pray God's blessings upon you, and we pray that you will be encouraged by these messages. You can find them at www.florenceinternationalchurch.com, or you can also find a link for them on our Facebook page, the Florence International Church. Again, thank you today for joining us. May the blessings of the Lord rest upon you today and every day as you live out your life for His glory and for His purpose. <clears throat>